talking about overplant and its uses. Overplant is a potent breeding hormone. It is a slow release implant. The implant is inserted into the fish and over a period of 24 to 36 hours, it will release the hormone and cause the maturation of fish. Overplant is a potent breeding hormone used for maturation and ovulation of marine fishes and has been found to successfully mature freshwater fishes as well. Overplant is a slow-release hormone and is implanted into fish. Overplant can advance and synchronize spawning dates in cultured fishes and is a key tool in broodstock management with predictable and reliable results. Sindel Laboratories developed Overplant in the 1990s with extensive research work done using Overplant on salmon. Overplant was introduced into the Asian market via Sindel Asia in 2000. Field trials and local research conducted in collaboration with government institutions in Malaysia have proven the high success rate of Overplant on tropical fishes such as sea bears, snappers, groupers, and even the masir fish. The slow release function of overplant was designed to target mainly the marine fish species or any hard to mature fish, be it marine or freshwater. Overplant is safe to use on fish when properly handled. It should be kept away from sunlight and avoid getting the pellets wet as this may cause breakage of the pellets during the implant. The active ingredient of overplant is the analogue of salmon GNRH or SGNRHA and has been formulated to be effective in advancing maturation and ovulation. The formulation is directed towards restarting stalk maturation, hard to breed fishes, maturing fish that have never been bred before and increasing milk production. Once implanted, the hormone is released slowly into the body over two days with 40% of the initial dose being released into the body within the first four hours. The peptide vehicle will degrade and be discharged from the fish within a week. Overplant is 100% biodegradable. Overplant comes in a pellet form and its packing is 24 pellets per cartridge with three available sizes. 75 micrograms, 150 micrograms, and 250 micrograms. The 75 microgram pellet is for fishes weighing between 1 to 8 kilos. The 150 microgram is for fishes between 8 to 15 kilos. And the 250 microgram for fishes weighing between 15 to 25 kilos. Sindel Asia provides a special implanter called Railgun to be used with overplant. In order to use overplant and obtain successful results, it is important to follow a few basic protocols when handling this hormone. First, define the intended purpose of use. Is it to advance maturation in the fish? To compress its spawning period? To restart maturation or to increase milk production? In each of these applications, the timing of when to implant the fish with overplant is very important. It is easy to know if the fish has a recorded spawning history. General rules when using overplant are 1. When overplant is used closer to the normal spawning date, there is a greater chance of success. 2. Fishes must be sexually mature. 3. Fish should have viable eggs or sperm. In this instructional video for overplant, we shall look into the process of how to use overplant effectively on a marine fish. Today we will be implanting tiger groupers or Epinephalus fuscogatatus. For this species, the larger ones are usually male and the smaller fish are usually female. Today in the samples that we have, the fish will range between 3 kilos to 8 kilos. The smaller ones are female and the larger ones are male. Before handling the fish, the first thing you must do is to anesthetize the fish so that you can check to see if the fish is ready as well as to sex the fish. When handling large fishes like groupers and sea bears, 
Make sure that you have ready a container of water to place the fish to anesthetize before implanting. Whenever you anesthetize fish, always make sure there's adequate aeration so that the fish does not lack in oxygen. Use Strikin S as the preferred and safer anaesthetic for easier handling of the fish and for its quick recovery. The anesthesia is usually added near to an aerator so that it is properly mixed into the water. The dosage for anesthesia is usually 40 to 80 ppm for tiger groupers using Tricane S. When the fish is anesthetized sufficiently, cannulate the fish and check its egg condition. The non-invasive techniques to check egg condition is to massage the belly of the fish to see if the egg or milk can be expressed easily from the genital papilla. This is a male. male fish. By applying gentle pressure to the fish, you can see the milk being expressed. So this male is ready for implantation. Okay. To ascertain whether the fish has eggs, we must first cannulate the fish to check for ripe eggs. You can only insert the overplant when the eggs are at stage 3 to 6. Now, the cannula has been inserted into the ovipositor and a slight sucking pressure is applied. The egg and milk should come out in a smooth flow, loose and not clumpy. Ripe marine fish eggs are usually translucent and measure around 1 mm in diameter. Outward signs of a mature and ready to spawn fish are bloated stomach, courtship display, and large and reddened genital papillae. You can check for the dosages on the cartridge of the overplant. There are three different sizes to overplant. You can see the doses on the bottom of the box. Fish ranging from 1 to 8 kilos, you use 75 micrograms. Fish ranging from 9 to 15 kilos, you use the 150 microgram cartridges. And fish ranging uh, above 16 to 25 kilos, you can use the 250 microgram cartridges. Once brood stock selection has been made, weigh the fish and choose the correct overplant dosage, be it 75 micrograms, 150 micrograms or 250 micrograms. When the fish has been anesthetized, they become docile and easy to handle. This is when you can catch them and weigh them to determine the dose for the overplant. What they are doing right now is to check for the sex of the fish and to see how ready the fish is. This, uh, this is the rail gun. We have currently inserted the collet and the needle. And then we screw on the cap before we insert the cartridge. Insert the cartridge into the rail gun implanter. After one injection, you can turn the cartridge by turning it anti-clockwise. Place the railgun at a 45 degree angle to skin at the dorsal fin area or at a soft tissue area closer to the brain of the fish. Once needle has successfully penetrated the outer skin layer, the needle is then angled at a 30 degree angle and the plunger depressed to insert the implant. Once the needle is removed from the fish, apply antiseptic on the implanted area to avoid infection. Release the fish into a tank with clean aerated water to ensure full recovery from anesthesia. The spawning tank should contain an adequate ratio of males to females. As a biosecurity feature, Disinfect the area, equipment and your boots every time you enter from the broodstock tanks to the larvae hatching tanks to ensure that there is no cross-contamination. 
Remedor Aquatic is a broad-spectrum disinfectant and is the best choice for disinfection against viruses, bacteria and fungi. Its short contact time allows time saving and proper control of the spread of disease. Overplant is suitable for both tropical and temperate species. It was designed for marine fish and as it does not contain a dopamine inhibitor, it will not be able to induce ovulation in freshwater fish. However, it is now widely used in freshwater fish to mature the eggs and has been an effective tool in breeding rare fishes for repopulation into rivers and lakes. These are sea bass, latest calcarifer. These fish are about 8 to 10 kilos and they are implanted with overplant about once every month. Implantation with overplant causes the ovulation cycle of the fish to start and it is a tool to manage your brood stock. Commercially, in Malaysia, it is used extensively to breed groupers. 